from the streets to the field to the classroom. Booker T. Washington's Royce Anderson is nothing short of a star. He's always been driven, humble, and kind. When I have like that personality where I want to get to know everybody, be friends with everybody. Royce came to Booker T. Washington High School from Carver Middle School, where he had said teachers helped guide his life. Now I know the importance of doing homework and things like this because I know it determines what my future is going to be and what I'm going to become. As a freshman Hornet, Royce quickly started chasing his dreams. Before I came to Booker T, I really wanted to join the band. His first chance came through drumline auditions. And I tried out for the cymbals, the drumline actually, and I made the cymbal part. But it didn't take long for Royce to go after what he really wanted, to be drum major of the T Connection. Drum major my sophomore year, and I've been drum major ever since. So I've been drum major for three years, and that's really been a highlight of my Booker T experience. A rare experience at that. Most Booker T. Washington drum majors hold the position for a year, maybe two. Royce led the band for three, motivating him to make the most of his Booker T. experience. It's been a really big dream of mine, so every time I march, I just feel like I'm living out that dream, so I get a chill down my spine every time I get back out on that field because I feel like I'm doing it all over again and reliving the thing that I wanted to do. During his high school career, Royce made an effort to participate as much as he could, something he thinks other Hornets must do if they want the true Booker T experience. I just want them to really get involved, so really make Booker T a good experience for them. The only way you can do that is if you get involved. Um, you can't sit on the sidelines. He was in Men of Power, Band, winning Best Drum Major in Dallas, Safe Team, Student Council, Spanish club even voted Mr. Hornet his senior year, yet he still excelled in math and found time to listen to his classmates or just lend a hand. Even if it's more like giving kids rides, I was blessed to have a car since my sophomore year, so I'm always willing to help a hand if people need anything. Not to mention, he's been on TV representing Booker T. My grandmother was actually a majorette in this band. My dad went to this school. My grandfather went to this school, so I've always wanted to go to Booker T. Yes, Royce has made the most of his time at Booker T. Washington, whether lighting up a room with his smile or getting people excited with his moves. Those moves, well, I've been working on those moves for a little bit, and now I'm finally getting to showcase so. I've always liked to dance and do things like that. I've never had the opportunity to be in the band until I got to Booker T, so I just took that and ran with it. He's now part of the famed Booker T Washington legacy, absorbing lifelong knowledge, leadership, and discipline from classes he took while chasing his dreams. The band's really taught me a lot of leadership, how to branch out, help others, as well as stay humble and do things like that. It also taught me a lot of discipline, so stay on track, get my work done, so I'll be eligible to be able to march and go out there and give a good show. Helping others who are timid like he was growing up. And I went to class and I was like really nervous. Can find their footing and excel at Tulsa Public Schools like he has at Booker T. Washington High School, carrying on an amazing legacy. You do have to live up to the legacy and even maybe surpass that, so you even add on to that legacy to keep the legacy going and to be able to grow. So people have made, um, difficult choices and hard decisions and sacrifice for us to be able to have the opportunities that we have. So it's very, very important that we live up to those opportunities and make that keep going along.